Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be finishing up Lindell, the royal capital. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I only did one thing, and that was I went ahead and I pulled out the grafted blade great sword out of my inventory. We're going to need that a little later here in the video. With that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to come down here. Swing to the right. Slide down this ladder. Take out this first soldier. And then don't worry about the rest. Just gonna swing on over here. Getting ready to fight a mini boss, so get prepared for that. It's gonna pop out of the ground. There we go. There we go. Get ourselves a golden seed. We always love those. Grab a smithing stone six and some golden arrows. We're gonna come through here. Take out that Lindell Knight. And then just continue forward. Before we go down those stairs, we want to climb this ladder. Take him out pretty easily. Get the Omen Smirk Mask. And another Smithing Stone 6. Over there is the ladder that we kicked down in the last episode. Let's go ahead and touch this grace. Get Lionel's helm. Well, Lionel's armor, that is. And the deathbed dress. And then we'll go ahead and activate this summoning pool. Now we're going to come over here, go down the ladder. We're going to go this way first. Take out a couple rats. Golden rune eight, and then just run straight to the back. So if you didn't buy the Guilty Hood from that one merchant, you can get one from right here in Lindell. Up there we have one of those hand guys. We're going to shoot it down. And then before we go right, we're going to go to the left. Just 
Be careful for the hands. They're everywhere. There's only one dangerous one in here, though. One of the bigger ones. We'll be getting to that in just a moment. Get some poison darts. And then over here, we got one of the big hands, so we'll buff our weapon real fast. Two hand. And then kill the hand. Get a lost ash of war. A somber smithing stone four. Now we're just going to backtrack. We have a hand and we have a rat. Grab some string. Up top there, take out the hand. Hops down. Take out those face munchers. Over here, all there is is some nascent butterflies. We can't get over there until a little later, which we will be going over to eventually, just not yet. Right here we have a gargoyle. We're going to climb this ladder. Then over here we can see an archer knight. We want to take him out first. And then over here we have another knight. Just going to wait for him to get a little closer. going to circle around here, grab ourselves the golden rune nine, come over here, kill those two guys, guys oblivious to everything, it's pretty nice. him out and then right over here where this railing is we're gonna hop over and then we have a silver scarab as soon as we kill this silver scarab we're gonna have some enemies coming at us we also get the ash of war thunderbolt for killing that scarab just don't let those guys grab you they suck we're going to grab this item over here and then right over here we can go down into the sewers but we're not going to just yet. We're going to save that for another video. So for now what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack just a little bit here and go through this hallway. Get some pickled turtleneck. And then we're back out to where we fought the mini boss for the golden seed. So what we want to do is we want to come back up here, up these steps, go to the right, and then we're going to climb the ladder.
I'm gonna run straight over here. And then we're gonna climb this big dragon wing. Grab a rune arc, because we don't have enough of those, do we? Right up here, we have another Lindell Knight. Get ourselves some gravel stones. And then off to the left, got an enemy, so be careful. Grab ourselves a golden ruin 11. And then we're gonna light this grace, and we're gonna sit at it. Let's go ahead and drink our flask and then we're going to have a gargoyle to kill. That is the hardest part of this section is killing that gargoyle. Do your best. Oh cool, we got an invoice corn. Grab another golden seed. But do your best. I know it's hard. Try not to uh, drag him over here if you can help it. We need to do one more thing before we go over here. We need to turn around. Go down over here. Got caught up with that gargoyle. Got excited. Take the envoys out and then pull this lever. That lever is going to open the door below. You can use that as a shortcut if you like. But now we want to come over here. And then right here, we can hop down. Be very careful. This is a beefy page knight. He has the crossbow that will shoot you three times with the explosive bolt bolts. Get some smithing stone six. Hop onto these rooftops. Take out that dog. And then we're gonna run this way. Just to the left is the door that we opened. We're gonna run over here, grab this item, just some old fangs. Take him out, we get the gravel stone seal. Wait for him to come down here, and then we're gonna beat his ass for being so damn annoying. We're gonna hop on this dragon's claw, hop over here, and my best advice here is run in the middle and jump at the very last second. And I still missed it. Okay, let's do this again, take two. Run straight down the middle, very last second, boom, got it. First try, right? Get a stone sword key and one smithing stone six.
Now we're going to backtrack. Don't bother going through those doors. We're going to be going in there in just a moment. We're just going to take a different route inside. I would go ahead and kill these dogs because you can be climbing up and they'll just like come out of nowhere and hit you in the back. It's quite annoying. There's one more right here. Now we can safely hop up here and then up here. Grab ourselves a golden rune nine. And then this place should look familiar. This is the round table hold. We get that sanctified wet blade that allow us to make our weapons divine. We also get by my sword and a hero's rune. Grab a rune arc and then we're going to come through these double doors where normally the two fingers would be. Pick up the coated sword. And then right here is the most important thing we need to get in here, and that is the seed bed curse. One last thing over where Rajier was, we can pick ourselves up a smithing stone five. And now we can head out of here. So where the blacksmith usually is, we can head down here. The stairs are going to be broken. But we can go ahead and pick up some smithing stone six. Swing around here. Grab the two fingers prayer book. And some black key bolts. By the way, that other room doesn't have anything but enemies in there, so I'm not going to bother with it. We're just going to come out here, and we're going to invade two NPCs. But we're going to have help. So for invading both of those NPCs, we get the Raging Wolf armor. Such a cool looking armor set. Love it. Another one of my favorites. For all you sorcerers out there, you can get Albrecht's uh, armor. And then we can come in here. Light this grace. And then we're going to touch this painting. Want to run to the back here. Grab ourselves a smithing stone five. And right here, open these doors.
And then we want to be really careful. There's two iron virgins over here. And I don't even mess with them. I just let them do their thing. Run. Grab this item. Try not to stop. Get the Stormhawk Axe. Some nascent butterflies. Come over here. Run all the way to the back here. For a somber smithing stone six. Just keep running. Those iron virgins are scary. Bye. So we're taking this elevator up. We've already been over here. When we were in the Weeping Peninsula, we opened up a trap chest and it sent us all the way over to Lindell. This is where this spot is. I just wanted to activate the elevator. What we're going to do now is we're going to fast travel to the West Capitol Rampart. We're going to veer off to the right here. Just run straight over here. We're going to buff our sword. You can get their cloak and also this guy with the two hammers, you can get that hammer and that hammer is freaking amazing. You used to be able to get that hammer really early in the game, but now they made it a random drop from this guy. Get the ritual shield talisman. I'm going to open this up. This is just one of the Colosseums you can PvP in. Just opening it up and then we're going to turn around. We're just going to veer off here. Get ourselves a For Calling Finger Remedy. And then we're going to come this way. Whatever is the matter, please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. <sighs> what matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? <sighs> we were on the very cusp. Oh, was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. The Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree, while still a precise calculus. The rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. Let's come up here. Grab ourselves Smithing Stone 5, and then right over here, we're going to get ourselves a Fist Weapon. 
Pretty cool fist weapon. It's a star fist. We're gonna come down this way. And then instead of taking the path that we came up, we're going to come over here. We're going to hop down in just a moment. About right here where these bushes are. Safe to hop down. Take a little bit of damage, but not too much. So in the last video, I was saying that we were going to get an item a little later. This is that item. Nothing special, just a smithing stone six. Unless you absolutely need smithing stone six, then I guess it is something special for you. Going to run up this route. Take care of the Erd Tree Guardians. Good place to farm their spears and their attire. So if you like their armor set, you can farm it here pretty easily. down this route jump over to the roof grab ourselves some holy grease Okay, so we're about to have a boss fight. Go ahead and drink your flask. If you need to buff your sword, buff your sword. Make sure your shield's out. Summon in your mimic. Heal yourself. Let's go ahead and light this grace and then what we're going to do is we're going to put on the intelligence talisman because we have a fourth uh, place for a talisman now. Take those off. Put on the grafted blade. We can sit here, go to our wondrous flask of physic. We can actually add a charge as well to our flasks. But we want to put on the intelligent not crystal tier. Oh, one more thing. Go to our helmet and put on the twin sage glintstone crown. Here in a minute. We will be able to use a spell, but first we have to get our stats up high enough and in intelligence to be able to use it. We need 37 intelligence to be able to use the spell that we need to use. We 
We're going to hop through here. Hop up this route. Come over here and grab the Golden Order Principia. We're going to run down here. There's a chest over to the right. Get the Ur Tree bow. Get some Celestial Dew. And then we want to run just over here. Grab a Somber Smithing Stone 5. Let's go ahead and go to our map. We're going to fast travel all the way over to the Church of Vows. I'll see everybody over there. Let's talk to the Turtle Boy. Greetings. We're going to give him our prayer oh, books. Oh, very well. Heresy, all thing. Oh, what very well. Heresy is an old thing. And then we're going to study incantations, and the only one we need right now is the law of regret the law of regression. Now we can go back over to the Erd Tree Sanctuary. Let's go ahead and sit at the grace. And then we're going to go to Memorize Spell. Put on the Law of Regression. It's telling us that we can't use it, but we will be able to use it in just a moment. ahead and take this elevator down. You want to make sure that you're two-handing the grafted sword. Right here we have a developer message. Regression alone reveals secrets. So use that. Use that. Switch over to our seal. Then the statue changes from Radagon to America. And now Radagon is America. Let's go into our equipment. We're going to put Bloodhound's Fang back on. We're going to take this off. Put that back on. And then for now, until I figure out what I really want to use, we're just going to do the Blessed Dew Talisman. Take out the Perfumer Knight. Wow, our drops today are insane. No lie. We're going to buff our weapon. We're going to have a, another Crucible Knight to fight. Don't even worry about the Scarab at the moment. We will get that in just a second. First, we want to worry about the Crucible Knight. Go ahead and drink a Cerulean Flask. We're going to need it. The easiest way I've learned to get rid of this guy is let him go back. And then as soon as he's coming back this way. Use your Dragon Breath. That usually goes a lot better, I promise. 
I don't know what the hell was going on with that one. There we go. Now we get Barrier of Gold. Before we go anywhere, we want to drink a flask and then right over here, we're going to jump up, we'll hop down, we're going to grab an item and then immediately go back to the Erd Tree Sanctuary. Don't be slow about this. Gonna rest at this grace for just a second. I'm gonna switch out our wondrous flask of physic. And then we're gonna run right back up this root system. We're going to buff our weapon. We have a Black Knife Assassin. Go ahead and take them out pretty easily. We're going to light this grace. If you need to sit at it, go ahead and sit at it. I'm not going to bother. We just sat at a grace. Get the Blessing of the Erd Tree. Tons and tons of faith spells. And then we're going to run straight up here. We're going to activate a summoning pool. And then up at the top, we can summon in Melina. Go ahead and drink your flask. And then we're going to go into a boss fight. Graceless tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. Oh man, that combo messed me up. Oh. 
by my curse. Such shame I cannot bear. Thy part in this shall not be forgiven. So for killing Morgoth, we get his Great Ruin along with his Remembrance. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Tarnished. Not but a fool. The Erd Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are, we are all forsaken. <laughs> None may claim the title of Elder and Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <laughs> More God in my opinion, really was not a bad guy. But before we can do anything, we need to go to the top here and see that we actually cannot get in to the Erd Tree. So now we have to come back down here. We're going to have a conversation with Melina. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable, a husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. All right, right here, I think is where we're gonna end the video. I wanna start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, Hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.